Hey guys, so it is Halloween, yay! And we have had a busy day already. Today was two hours of Zumba in the morning, and so we went to Zumba for a few hours, and then I had to get the kids home, feed them lunch. So we didn't get any vlogging done this morning. I took my camera with me, and then I realized I didn't have a memory card in it, but anyways. Um, so the kids are down for naps, and I grabbed a quick shower and started to get ready for Halloween tonight. Um, Halloween trick-or-treating in our town actually starts pretty early. The times were like at 4 p.m. it started, so I went ahead and turned out turned on all of the outside decorations and that sort of thing, even though I think that probably like after 5 o'clock is when we'll start getting the majority of our trick-or-treaters. But I want to get our candy out and ready and all of that, so I just painted my fingernails with this Zoya color, and this is Zoya Hope, and I thought it was just kind of a nice festive color. It's just a really pretty purple color, and I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing my little spooky cupcake shirt. <laughs> That my mom brought to me when she was here a few weeks ago. So that is my extent of being festive for the day. Um, I'm not going to dress up or anything. I'm just going to be in my mom shirt and I'm going to be a mom for Halloween. <laughs> okay, so two things. My hair looks awesome right now. I'm letting it air dry. And there is my shirt. I realized you couldn't really see it. And duh, I'm standing in front of a giant mirror right now. I didn't even think like, oh, I can look in the mirror and see what's on my camera. I never use cameras that flip around so I can see what is being taken. So this whole like, um, you know, doing day in the lives more often and that sort of thing is definitely an experiment in uh, camera positions for me because, you know, when I'm doing reviews and everything on my other channel, the camera is always in a set position. Anyhow, this is my spooky cupcake shirt. Oh! So that works so well. There's a mirror right over there that works really great. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs now. Here's our little spooky ghost. <laughs> I never got a video of him the other day, so I'm outside real quick while the kids are napping, taking a picture of the little ghost guy. And my first trick or treaters awake. Is he so grumpy? Is he so grumpy? Hopefully she'll go in a happier mood. Here's her little shirt. It's cute. She's crawling away. I'm making a break for it. Where are you going? Come here. Are you going to be grumpy in the hallway? Alright, so we're going to try snack time. Some snacks and bottle in the high chair and see if that doesn't help with the disposition. Oh dear. Is that what you needed? You needed yogurt puff stat? Yogurt puff stat. Oh. Oh, but you're really getting better. I went and put our treat bag over in the front of the house by the front door and I pulled this DVD out of the toy room upstairs to have down here because I thought that they could watch it whenever we're waiting on trick or treaters. It's got a cute little Halloween thing on it. You ready for a Halloween party? <laughs> we dress up in a princess dress in a little bit. Or you just want to go back to bed. <laughs> I understand this really. Shoot. We go get a snack. Bella's wearing her festive Girl, black cat and pumpkin shirt. Mm. Go get food. I'll carry you downstairs. I just tried to explain Halloween and that we were gonna have kids come to the door and they'd have to say trick or treat and then we give them some candy. And Bella gave me a look. I'm like, why are you gonna give them candy? <laughs> so these are the girls' costumes which I had just laying out from the last costume thing that we went to. Natalie had a little flower thing with a little bodysuit, but I don't think I'm actually going to put her costume on her because it's really hot. But I am going to let Bella put on her princess dress, and she can go ahead and be, like, wearing it tonight, running around in it. We're not going to go actually, you know, go out and trick-or-treat ourselves. We're just going to stay here and answer the door because, obviously, the girls are too young for, you know, eating candy and all that kind of stuff. So... She will just get to play dress up. So it will basically just be dress up night for her. So now we're just going to play with toys for a few minutes until trigger treaters start coming. I'll probably let Bella change into her dress here pretty quickly. You want to draw some stuff? You want me to draw you some words? 
<laughs> that one's so cute how she says that one. A fairy goose. Goose? A pumpkin. Uh, a pumpkin. A Halloween. <laughs> Halloween pumpkin. You drawing your Halloween picture? Very nice. I like it. Come on, let me show you how to write Halloween. It's got an H at the beginning of it. Down. Are you making an H? Good job. A toe. Good job. Can you draw a line in between those to make it look like an H? Making a Halloween pumpkin? <laughs> Sorry, I won't. <laughs> you can tell me what you're drawing. What are you drawing, Bella? I like it. It's very nice. This is actually a relatively new thing that she started the past few weeks. Like, she just wants to, like, draw on these, which is cool, because we'll probably start working on writing her letters probably when she's a little bit closer to three, but I'm getting ready to order an activity table with chairs that they can sit in so we can do workbooks and stuff like that. And that should be here in November sometime. So it's neat that she's starting to be more interested in drawing, so that way we can start working on writing and hopefully she can write her letters, you know, sometime when she's three. I don't really know when they're supposed to learn that, but I figured we could start working on it since she's working on words and that sort of thing. Say A, say A, say P, say P, say Y. Yay! Say Y. H, say H, say A. Whoop, we lost her a day. What's this you doing? She's standing up. Yay! Who's the pretty princess? Can you look at mommy and smile, Isabella? Are you Princess Belle? Apparently she likes twirling in her dress. <laughs> Is that like your royal mat or something that we've made this into? Be careful! <laughs> so cute. Can you look at mommy? Look at mommy. And her little bow even has Princess Belle on there. So we are ready to go. What is that? So those are your sunglasses? So we're just gonna hang out here and play with toys until we get some trick or treaters because it is almost time. Hey. You want me to put your crown back on your head? Here. <laughs> Be nice. These two are going bonkers because they get to hang out in the front living room while we wait for trigger treaters. And Daddy's got home, so that's very exciting as well. No, not on the table, off the table. Isabella, feet on the ground. You and your princess twirls. Careful. Oh dear. Careful. <laughs> I don't know. Halloween might be too much excitement for us to take. <laughs> gentle, gentle. <laughs> Going for it. This one can stand up. Oh no. <laughs> Here's. She doesn't just sit down like Bella. 
The girls had a great Halloween and they are totally exhausted and both in bed at this point. And it was a lot of fun to see them all dressed up and also running back and forth to the door, seeing all the trick or treaters and um, saying hi and happy Halloween to them. So we had a great night and hopefully you guys did too. So thanks for watching and I will see you in some vlogs in November.